you came across this question in your jump exam how will you solve it it is very easy now let's solve together you can see we are giving a reaction all right now first of all we have to know what type of reaction is this because we have different types of reactions in chemistry we have the regular chemical reactions and also another special type of reaction called nuclear reactions now the question we ask ourselves the reaction on the board is it a chemical reaction or a nuclear reaction all right it's actually a nuclear reaction and i'm going to tell you how i actually knew it is a nuclear reaction i saw ray in the question i saw a type of radiation in the question for your normal regular chemical reactions it just has to do with reaction between compounds forming compounds or forming element vibration like neutralization reaction is a chemical reaction the reaction between an acid and a base to give salt and water combustion reaction is also a chemical reaction decomposition reaction is a chemical reaction are you there all of this dissociation reaction is a chemical reaction so you can see all of these are chemical reactions and they are different from nuclear reactions so in this question they are simply asking us to balance this reaction i'm going to teach you how it works but this is a nuclear reaction there are some things you should know before you actually start tackling any question that has to do with nuclear reactions you know the topic to which this question is from in chemistry is simply called radioactivity are you there so we have to first of all know the topic to which this question is from and it's from the aspect of in chemistry called radioactivity all right, so the first question we ask ourselves, what is radioactivity? Radioactivity is simply the spontaneous emission of radiation from the nucleus of an atom. Now, this is what I mean, it's very simple. Just watch closely. All right, so solution, let's start like this. Now, this is an atom. You know, all atoms in chemistry have a centrally located nucleus this is the nucleus of an atom are you there so radioactivity is the spontaneous emission of radiation from the nucleus of an atom so when this nucleus starts emitting radiation that's radioactivity these radiations i am talking about can be of two groups majorly we have the major radiations and as well as the minor radiations are you there so we have to know specifically examples of these radiations because this is what we simply need to start solving any question under balancing nuclear reactions and that is what i'm about stressing on so listen carefully for the major radiations all right for this one you're looking at it is divided broadly into three groups all right the first of them is called alpha ray or alpha radiation the next one you should know is called beta ray or beta radiation and the last one you should note under this aspect is called gamma ray or gamma radiation are you there so moving over to the minor radiations they include what we call number one negatron negatron is also called a negative electron listen carefully another one is called positron positron is also called positive electron another one is what we call neutron so neutron is part of the radiation but specifically it is a minor radiation and lastly we have what we call proton proton is also a minor radiation are you there so all of these radiations are coming from the nucleus of an atom and this is what we call radioactivity now to solve this question on the board just knowing the names of the radiations won't help you to the fullest in solving question under balancing nuclear reactions the other thing you should know after knowing the names of these radiations is to know the symbols of these radiations all of these radiations you're looking at the board they all have their respective symbols and from you knowing the symbols you are good to go so i'm about stressing on all of the symbols 
of these radiations and at the end of doing that we simply go ahead to tackle this question and we are good to go and get ready for your own practice question so listen carefully for the alpha ray i'm writing the symbol here so let me quickly write the major radiations and their symbol alpha ray is symbolized as helium atom h e 42 please note what i just said is going to help you alpha ray is simply helium atom all right the next one is called beta ray beta ray what's beta ray symbol here is the symbol it is symbolized as this but the numbers i'm about writing is what you should note all right it's very very important all right here is like this and here is zero and here is minus one please note what i just said is going to help you greatly so this is the symbol for the beta ray all right so moving over to the gamma ray here is the symbol for the gamma radiation gamma radiation is symbolized as this here is zero and here is zero to know the charges of these radiations we simply look at the numbers that are down all right you can see here that you know this two means positive two so if they ask you what the charge for alpha you simply say it is positively charged all right but i told you now that to get the charges is at the bottom you look at the numbers at the down so for alpha helium atom then it's plus two positive because it's just two this is negative one so the charge for beta is minus all right it is simply negatively charged but for gamma it is zero zero means neutral gamma ray does not have a charge are you there listen carefully we knowing this alone we're already good to go to solve this question and solve numerous questions under this aspect it's just for me to teach you what you need to know so you have to listen pay close attention now moving further let's quickly talk about the minor radiations and their symbol now i told you positron is simply electron but it is an electron with a positive charge so i'm going to symbolize this as e are you there remember electrons normally they are negatively charged like negatron is a negative electron so let's pull their charges remember i told you that the charges are written down for all of these radiations so i told you that positron has a positive charge so here is and the positive is plus one are you there listen it's very important for negatron it is negative they are brought as just the minus and plus are differentiable of them so you can see negatron is e minus one and here is zero actually and here is zero so if you observe you can see here that negatron looks like beta all right they're like literally the same radiation all right so just listen carefully so moving over to neutron neutron is symbolized as n but here now is one and here is zero are you there so what's the charge for neutron it tells you that neutron is neutral as well because the charge is zero i told you those numbers that you use to get your charge proton now proton is simply p one and one so comment down the charge for proton if it's positive negative or zero it's simple you can see the number i wrote down you tell me if it's a positive number negative number or a neutral number or simply zero and it's not zero all right so you can see all of these radiations and their symbols all right let's get back to the question here is an equation this is what is unknown they gave us here they said that this is carbon 14 all right actually undergoed disintegration we they broke down carbon 14 to get a radioactive substance here which is unknown and that's what we're looking for and there was emission of beta ray so here's how it works you can see here that a radiation called beta ray was emitted so this reaction is called beta decay to get the type of reaction you know it's a nuclear reaction but specifically now it's called beta decay why because beta ray was emitted if it was alpha ray this reaction would have been called alpha decay do you understand if it was gamma ray that was emitted it would have been called gamma decay that's something you should just note so moving further then the first part is simply to remove beta ray and then use the symbol to denote it so here becomes b uh, zero and then minus one then to balance nuclear reactions is very simple you must ensure and make sure that uh, the up values are balanced and as well as the down values are balanced and to do that simple here is 14 so what number do you think you should add here to make sure that it balances with this other guy at the left you must make sure your right and your left is balanced it's still like balancing chemical reactions which i already have on my channel 
So if you are finding it difficult to balance chemical reactions, make sure you go watch this video here on your screen. It's going to help you greatly. So moving for that, then we simply add 14 here because when we do that, it's going to know we are making sure that the left and the right is balanced, both at the up and the down part. So here is 14. All right. Here is 14 plus zero. 14 plus zero was that? Is it not 14? So at the up part, it is balanced. Do you understand? Because the left here was 14, and the right here was 14 as well. But 14 plus zero, 14 plus zero is still 14. So the up part is balanced. So let's focus on the down part. Here is six, here is minus one. What should be here? Very simple. Here that is B should be seven, right? Because seven minus one, what is that? That's six. And it has balanced what we had at the left-hand side. Here is six. Here, seven minus one should be six as well. So what basically corresponds, you can see the answer we got was X, 14, seven, because they said that X, A, B in the equation above represents what? We can, we've gotten the answer. You can see here we had here to be 14, all right. We had down to be seven. So option C is the answer to this question. It is very simple. All right, I believe you understand how it was done. It is very simple. Here that you make sure that your up and your down are balanced, all right? You do it separately. You do your up separately, you do your down separately. Up here is 14, here is 14, down here is six, seven minus one, that's six. It's just for you to think about numbers that you put out. When you minus it, you get the answer. It's simple like A, B, C, D. So I believe you understand perfectly how this question was solved. So get ready for your own practice question. To have more understanding about chemistry calculations and solving all of these type of questions, I already have them on the chemistry masterpiece, okay, which is calculations and keynotes in chemistry. So if you are preparing to write the jam exam, this book is very, very important for you. Now, for more information, getting the chemistry masterpiece, do well to direct message me via my WhatsApp number. It will be on the screen. Okay, guys, here is your own practice question. So you solve and provide the answer in the comment section. Now, let me explain the question for you. You can see they said that ROA22688 was disintegrated, was broken down to get this and this, which is unknown. So this is unknown is what you are looking for. Same applies to this. This lithium reacted with this unknown substance. This D later, this unknown. This is the unknown. You are trying to look for what is A and what is B. Same apply, you are looking for what is X and what is Y. So you are not to change this symbol. All right, just listen. Okay, all right. Let me quickly just tell you something. At the end of solving, and you see that the number arrangement you got is similar to any of the radiation I explained to you. Any of the radiation symbol, then tell me the radiation. I know that there is a radiation here. Do you understand what I'm saying? Same applies to this other one. When you solve and the number arrangement you got is similar to any of the radiation I taught you, you have given you all the radiations and the symbols, then tell me the radiation as well. But most importantly, tell me the numbers. And if you know the radiation, definitely you are supposed to know the radiation from the number arrangement. Then tell me, after writing the answer, tell me the radiation. Tell me for the first question, the radiation was this. For the second question, if there is a radiation there, based on what I gave to you, tell me as well. But most importantly here is for you to learn how to actually balance it. Do you understand? You can leave it as the symbol I gave to you, P and D. You can leave it like that. But if you can go further and tell me the radiation based on what I gave to you, it is very nice. All right. So we'll come to the end of this video lesson. If you find my video lesson helpful, make sure you click on the subscribe button to my channel and also share my lessons with your friends. Thanks for watching.